So I'm really glad that you're gonna be with me for this. At the time, I thought I was going to show you a typical travel day. I had no idea how wrong that would be. This journey would end up taking four days and end at a repair shop. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I'm a full-time RVer. I've been on the road for four years and I have a mission to hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you for helping me with that. I thought today I was going to show you a typical travel day. It turned out to be anything but that. It ended up taking four days, 450 miles, and really did not go very well. If you don't know, I have a 38-foot Alpha Sia motorhome and I'm towing a Ford F-150 behind it. You give it time to warm up. Here we go. I'm making sure that, yep, truck is good. And I already have a situation here because people are hitching up in the road. My car alarm's going off. Okay, so help me figure this out. When I'm towing my truck, if I lock the doors using the power door locks, it, it pops right back up so it won't stay locked. If I use the clicker, as you saw, when I go over a speed bump, it sets off the alarm. There's gotta be a way to have my truck locked while I'm towing. If you know the secret, let me know in the comments. So we just kind of have to squeeze through here. If I went straight through, I'd get there at 2.30, so basically a three hour drive. It was a little challenging because anytime I go by a city, and you probably know this too, there's a lot more congestion, there's a lot more people cutting in and out, and weaving in and out. So the trouble started at the gas station in Tonopah, Arizona. I was waiting in line at this truck stop and it took a little while till I finally got up there and I was aware that there was a line behind me. So I felt that added pressure. Well, I was using open roads. This is my first time using it. If you don't know, it's a discount program. It doesn't cost anything, but you can save up to a dollar per gallon of diesel fuel. So you do have to go to the truck stops. It is for diesel only but it's a pretty significant savings. If you want to learn more or sign up for Open Roads, I'll put a special link in the description. Well, it is easy to use, but there's a little bit of a learning curve, and I was trying to figure out what codes I needed to enter in when, and I ended up calling Open Roads from the gas station. Fortunately, they answered the phone on the first ring and helped me out. So once I got through that, the next problem was that the pump wouldn't clear. The it's still showing the last person on here. That's got to be at zero. What it's showing is that. And it took three people to finally fix that pump. So that was a little stressful, but it was about to get worse. No brake. I'm not able to get the parking brake engaged, which is more than a little concerning. Neutral, no you may remember that I follow the rule of threes, which is 300 miles or three o'clock, whichever comes first. So it was coming up to three o'clock. Although I had 85 more miles left to my journey, there was a rest stop less than 20 miles away. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go there. Okay, so here's my, here's my wish list. That the rest area has room for me and that my parking brake works again because I, I just won't know. I won't know what to do. If I'm on any kind of incline, I won't even be able to get up. I see the rest area sign, thank goodness. Let's hope it's pretty flat or that the brake works. If the rest stop is not perfectly flat, I'm not able to chalk the wheels. This was definitely something that I was concerned about because yes, I could chalk the wheels, but how? I'd have to leave my foot on the brake. I couldn't step away from the brake. So I was really crossing my fingers that the rest area was going to be flat. and it's not on.
is saying neutral, no break, which of course that is very true. After 12 tries, I finally got the parking brake to engage. Okay, so it is not the next day. It's actually two days later. Yes, I spent two nights in a rest stop and I'm glad I did. And there's three reasons why I stayed and this is not in order of importance. But number one, I thought my lithium batteries were discharging too fast. So I wanted to research that. I ended up calling Discount Solar in Quartzsite. So what was happening after turning off the rig 15 minutes later, I thought my lithiums were only at 70%. But I learned from Dan at Discount Solar that really what I needed to look at was the batteries themselves and their Bluetooth. So I looked at them and they actually were 98%, so the batteries are fine, but that's a relief. Number two is probably the most important is I needed to research what was going on with the parking brake. And it's probably a switch or some kind of disconnect in the knob not working because typically when a air brake parking brake goes bad, what happens is it will engage and not disengage. And what I'm having is the opposite problem. So it's probably the switch. And the number three reason was I just felt like staying. And I think this is the gift of travel life is you're free to do whatever you want. I'm free to go wherever I want. And I just didn't feel like driving. I didn't feel like traveling. I just wanted to take a breath and relax and, you know, kind of clear my plate. I'm not going to court site after all. I decided to just go straight to the dealer. I have an appointment on Monday. Today's Friday. They said I can get there anytime and I can hook up at their parking lot. I'm really sad to miss all my friends in court site, but you know, I have to do this. So I found the air brake safety test to be very helpful and I'll put a link to that below. Okay, so then it did say one last thing was to just check and make sure it stops, which it does. I park for the night in another rest area. It's now just 50 miles from my destination. This is turning epic, right? From here on out, it gets really congested. Like if you've ever driven around Riverside, California, it's, it's crazy. So I'm gonna get up super early. It'll be a Saturday morning, so hopefully not a lot of traffic. So I'm just gonna chill here. <laughs> Life in a rest stop, I'm kinda, kinda getting used to this. So I made it. All I have to do is back up and make a 90 degree turn into this driveway while reversing, <laughs> and then another 90 degree turn into this spot back here. You can see there's plenty of room, so hopefully it'll all go okay. How about that backing? Oh my goodness, what a great way to end the journey. We need to high five over that. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And let me know in the comments any epic travel days you've had or some repair stories. I'd love to hear it. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.